Now then ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know after the last video I said I'd be like straight back, but I kinda lied. Basically, those two videos that I said I'd be working on, I have been working on for the last two weeks. It's just been a massive project. Entertainment Perfection, which I said about, has taken miles longer than I was expecting <laughs> to edit. It's turned from like a 20, 30 minute like video essay to like a nigh on two hour documentary. <laughs> So yeah, so we're, I'm in the editing room sorting them out right now. Weekend podcast is coming back. Everything's coming back, I hope. But that's not the point of this video. I just wanted to give you a quick update. This video is going to be my Blu-ray haul for the last couple of months. I know I haven't done one since my last one, but it's just because I haven't really got that many Blu-rays recently. I still buy them from time to time, but I only pick one up here or the odd two up here or whatever. But just recently, since the HMV sale, I've picked quite a lot up. So I've got a massive pile right here, right in front of the camera, that I want to go through and just explain why I picked them up, where I got them from, and maybe how much they were. So you can see if you can find them in your CEXs, HMVs, Poundlands, stuff like that, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, let's get into the video. So, first up, we're going to go with what I've got today, literally this morning, Monday the 16th. So, the first one I've got, as you can see, it's still got the stickers on it. I've literally just walked through the door an hour ago. It's Lord of the Rings Return of the King. And if you can see that right there, it should be... Oh, maybe not. Is it on the insert? Uh, labels covering it it's the extended edition so I'm gonna have to be honest with you guys I have seen the original Lord of the Rings a handful of times I've seen the Return of the King tons like the beginning the middle and the end because it's always on ITV2 on a Saturday night or whatever or it's always on Dave so I always end up catching Return of the King but I've never seen Twin Towers I've never seen all three back to back to back to back so I've got the original Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. I've got Twin Towers now, and now I've got the Return of the King, the extended edition. We had them all on DVD back in the day, but my mum's taken off our DVD collection, so I'm uh, building it up again. So yeah, so that's the first thing. I, I've just been desperate to get the full trilogy, and really I want the extended editions of Fellowship of the Ring and Twin Towers, or Two Towers. I always call it Twin Towers, that must be why. Anyway, two towers. So, yeah, that goes with the collection, really. That's the first one I wanted to talk about. Next one is a brand new release today with a decent slip, actually. It's John Wick 3 Parabellum. I think it's in. I've been waiting to see this. I missed it in the cinemas. I was gutted. It came out around mid May time, which is when my uh, dad's birthday is. And I wanted to go out with him for his birthday to watch it, but we just never got a chance. And then stuff caught up and caught up and caught up. And then before I knew it, it was like June, July and things like The Lion King and Spider-Man and all that type of stuff were coming out. And I just never got to see it. So I am absolutely glad I've got it on Blu-ray now. Um, don't know what else to say yet because I haven't watched it. So I'm expecting a good time, I hope. I, lo I love the first two. I've seen the first one a couple of times. I've seen the second one, I think, twice. I think I've only seen it twice. But I've got that upstairs from way before I did my first Blu-ray haul. I just haven't got around to watching John Wick 2 yet. So, yeah, so that'll go with the rest of them. Now, anyone that knows me knows I love the MCU, along with Star Wars. And um, I went to see Endgame at my local cinema in Boston for the midnight release I've got the ticket upstairs somewhere still the ticket stub and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to watch it again because I loved it I only saw it twice in the cinema which is still more than once I suppose I wanted to go a third time but I couldn't get anybody else to go with me and I didn't want to go on my own I don't know why because I usually go to the cinema on my own but anyway so I got Endgame but if you notice it's the Disney 3D slip 
because every single other Avengers movie I have, literally every single other Avengers movie I have, is all on 3D. I've got the Avengers and Age of Ultron um, double pack from Zavi, I think. I think it was Zavi. It was either Zavi or Zoom. Um, they're Age of Ultron, the original Avengers in 3D in a double pack. Then I got uh, Infinity War on its own in 3D. And now, got this bad boy to add to the collection. I just absolutely love this movie. Speaking of entertainment perfection at the beginning, the next episode after my first one is going to be this. I'm going to be watching it again and breaking it down and telling you why I think it is the best ending to the MCU first phase, first three phases or with the Infinity Saga as they've dubbed it. So yeah, I can't wait to watch this again. It's just been sat there on the shelf while I've been editing the first episode of Entertainment Perfection. I can't wait to watch it again. So yeah, so that's uh, Endgame. Next up is probably one of my favourite TV series ever. I can't think of anything that tops it. Star Wars The Clone Wars I like pretty similarly. I think Mandalorian's going to catch this up when it comes out. But oh, and Game of Thrones, I like the first six, seven seasons of Game of Thrones, but that last season was bleh, it's fucking trash. Uh, for those of you that know, HMV have been having their sale on, like I said at the beginning. And if you buy something in the shop, you get this box set for twelve ninety nine. And the ones that have been in the shop probably know what it is. It is, of course, the Breaking Bad complete series with uh, all three discs. You got Gus Fring on the front of the final two seasons, uh, Jesse on the middle two seasons, season three and four, and Brian Cranston or Walter White on the first two seasons. So yeah, I'm looking forward to watching them again. I watched them on Netflix a couple of years back when they first came onto Netflix, I think, in the UK. And now I got given the DVD set for Christmas some t uh, a couple of years ago now, 2016, 17. So I just thought it's about time I upgrade everything else I've got some Blu-ray and this is the only thing that I didn't have on Blu-ray so I've given the old DVD set to my old man and I've upgraded. So yeah, so that was 12 99 That was a good bargain, I thought. It's down from like 40 odd quid. So if you if you like Breaking Bad like me, go and get it. And also, it's one thing I didn't pick up this week but I'm hoping to maybe pick up next week is Better Call Saul Season 1 and Season 2 are oh, 6 quid bundled in together so if you like Breaking Bad and you've already got this Blu-ray set or if you want a bargain um, to go along with this pick it up it's only about six quid I'm sure it was today that's another good deal absolutely cracking series I absolutely loved that funnily enough the last couple of episodes of this were worked on by Ryan Johnson who did the that did the controversial Last Jedi so yeah pretty good season that um Next one up is one I've never seen, always heard good things about, but never really got around to it. I've been looking for it. It's been on like my Blu-ray wish list for ages, all because of one person, and I'll get to it in a minute, but get to who they are in a minute. But first, it's Hail Caesar, and we've got uh, Channing Tatum, obviously, George Clooney, Thanos himself, Josh Brolin, Scarlett Johansson, and Jonah Hill and some others up here. I'll read them to you. You got Josh Brolin, George Clooney, Alden, uh, Alden M. Reich, Ra Rafe, Ralph Fiennes. I can never pronounce his name. I'm sure it's Rafe Fiennes, even though it's spelled Ralph. Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Frances McDormand from Free Billboards. She's great in that movie if you haven't checked that out. Tilda Swinton and Channing Tatum. So they're the main cast, and like I said, you, I've just shown you all the pictures on the front. Um, this was 250 in the HMV uh, bargain bin, so that was a good pickup. And the reason I've been wanting to watch this is all because of that name right there. I don't know if you can see it. Alden, Alden, Alden Reich. He was in a very underrated movie called Beautiful Creatures with uh, oh, he was Alfred in Batman vs Superman. Jeremy Irons, that's who it was. Um, yeah, Jeremy Irons um, plays uh, a, quite a significant character in that movie. It's one of my sister's favourite movies, and I've got that on Blu-ray out of Hellman, I believe. No, like, tell a lie, CX, that was 50p. 
But the reason I wanted to watch this was because of Alden Ehrenreich, because I wanted to see it before I saw Solo to see how good he is. Because I, I wasn't sure about him at the beginning, like most people weren't. But when I saw the movie, I, I thought he did a pretty good young Han Solo. So, but I had this on my wish list since way before Solo came out. Like, what was that May 2018? I probably had it on it since Christmas 2017 when he got cast. But I just never could find it in my HMVs in Boston and Lincoln. I've just been waiting ages and ages. And then funnily enough, it turns up in a bargain bin. So... Yeah, that's a good one. Directed by Joel and Ethan Cullen, who've done um, No Country for Old Men and True Grip, like it says on the back. So yeah, so that's another good pickup, Bargain Bin. I think it was about 250, 350. Next one is a movie I've been waiting to watch for ages. I wanted to see it in the cinema, but I uh, ended up missing it. Um, it's got Star Lord himself, Chris Pratt, and Mystique herself, Jennifer Lawrence. You probably know what the movie is from that alone, but it's. Uh, Passengers with these two stars. Um, it's been one I've been wanting to watch for ages. Uh, who directs it? I'm trying to think who, who directed it. I don't know, but anyway, it's supposed to be good, like them floating um, colony of Earth. I think this is the synopsis anyway. The colony of um, whoever lefts on Earth is travelling to a distant planet and they're all put in cryostasis and take because it takes them like a couple hundred years, couple of thousand years to get to the planet. And Chris Pratt wakes up and he's all on his own he doesn't want to die alone so he wakes somebody else up and it turns out to be Jennifer Lawrence and it's all about their story of how they get on on the ship that was £2.50 there's tons of them in my uh, bargain bin in Boston so there's probably some where you are if you haven't got it yet to add to your collection so another great pick up from the bargain bin HMV are doing me some good deals this week and last week another one this is a TV series this isn't a uh, movie or anything it's got a uh, Dominic Cooper in it, Ruth Negar, and the vampire whose name I can never remember. You can probably guess what it is from just that alone. It's uh, season one of Preacher. I watched this on Amazon Prime when it first came on and I absolutely loved it. It's a bit of, bit of a weird uh, comic book adaptation. It's a weird one. It's not a normal, um, what's the word, superhero story. He gains uh, a demon, possesses Dominic Cooper. And uh, he's a preacher, obviously, that's why it's called the series. And he, with this power, he can say whatever he says, people have to do, they're compelled to do it. So if he says, go and jump off the cliff, they go and jump off the cliff. If you know what I mean, it's that type of thing. If, if he told them to shoot themselves, he'd go and shoot themselves. He could do whatever, whatever he wants because of this demon. And along the way, it's uh, Ruth Negger's ex-girlfriend, I believe. They meet meet again, and uh, Julep, obviously, and Cassidy's the vampire, and he um, he joins in. It's all about how these three interact while people are trying to hunt down the demon, and he's in this town. And he's trying to control his powers. So, yeah, that's uh, season one of Preacher. That was five ninety nine. That was a brilliant deal. Season two is about the same price. And when I was in HMV today to get John Wick. I'm sure the third season was about a 10 or 15 quid and this was about 20 quid and knocked down to six the other one was 20 quid and knocked down to six I think and the new one is 30 35 quid knocked down to a tenner so 599 you can't complain for a TV series can you so yeah that's good I'd like to rewatch that again soon next one I want to show you is a movie with Robert Redford funnily enough this is a great movie, it was on Netflix. It's basically an hour and a half of Robert Redford being stranded on a boat. And it's just about how his, uh, his boat crashes and leaks and he has to find a way to survive out on the ocean, just him on his own. And it's just him by himself. He doesn't really talk that much either, it's just grunts and groans and oh shit or oh bollocks or whatever, you know what I mean. So um, yeah, it's absolutely great. I think it won, won at the Golden Globes. Uh, best original score and uh, winner at the New York Film Critics Circle best actor Robert Redford he's just fantastic in this I liked him in um, Winter Soldier as Alexander Pierce and uh, obviously he's been around for yonks and yonks and yonks he's still in, starred in tons of old films but this is absolutely brilliant movie if you haven't checked it out check it out and yet again like re the rest of them this was in the bargain bin £2.50 that is it for a 
brilliant, brilliant movie. And if, if you don't trust me and don't trust my opinion, I'm sure it's still Netflix or Amazon Prime. So check it out on there before you buy it if you want. But for £2.50, you cannot go wrong. With a lot of these Blu-rays, you cannot go wrong. Got some pretty good, pretty big titles in there as well. Not just Passengers, but like they had uh, All the Money in the World. They've got the full Star Trek box set for eight quid. And uh, the full Batman, 90s Batman series was about a tenner. So can't complain can you it's cheap as chips really right now on to a full price blu-ray that i've been holding on to for a couple of weeks um i love the original two with ron perlman i like the casting of david harbour but i'm not too sure on the rest of the movie this is another one i missed in the cinemas at the time so i need to watch this before i can give you my opinion but i love the original two guillermo del toro is a genius I just, just got to be put out there. I loved The Shape of Water when I watched it. But a reboot, I wanted to see where it went. And who knows? I'll have to watch it first. I know there's been a lot of bad reviews on it and saying it's trash and all that. But like most things, you've got to make your own mind up on these things. But I'm, of course, talk about Hellboy. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. To actually finally watching it. It's got Mila Jovovich in it. Most of you know. Um... It's got a little Mo in it from EastEnders, if you remember her, and the guy Chin from Hawaii Five-O, I'd like to say, because I used to watch that with my sister. But yeah, absolutely great, uh, absolutely great pickup. Can't wait to watch it. Let's move on to the next one. Next one, funnily enough, it's another one I haven't watched, but I loved the trailers when it came out. It's another anime manga, 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 whatever, whatever you want to say it. The book. Book out uh, the and Japanese books, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, it's uh, Elite Battle Angel, uh, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Um, it's all about how Christoph Waltz, the man himself there, saves her from a pit where she falls from the sky. As it goes on, I read it to you. I'm, I'm reading the synopsis because I still haven't seen it yet. And this. Uh, in this epic adventure of hope and empowerment, a cyborg, Alita, searches for clues from her past when she awakens in a future world she does not recognise. So yeah, so that's another great pickup. It's got Mahershala Ali. It's got that's Ed Screen from uh, I don't know, from Deadpool. He's the bad guy in the first Deadpool. And Jennifer Connelly. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. And Jennifer Connolly. So yeah, that's another one I need to sit down and watch that I haven't got around to yet. So um, yeah, another great pickup. Can't wait to watch it. Next one is something I have seen, and it was on the BBC around uh, Armistice Day last year. I would like to say um, around Poppy Day, obviously for, the, for those of you that don't know what Armistice <laughs> means. It's, it's a great documentary by uh, Peter Jackson, obviously Lord of the Rings, and my next pickup. He, he has an association with my next pickup. Um, basically, it's They Shall Not Grow Old. And as you can see from this, there's the black and white photos and the coloured photos. Um, it's, it's a documentary about how life was in World War One. essentially. There's tons of World War Two documentaries and stuff, but not really enough World War One ones. How many times can you say, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, World War One ones. Anyway, but it's got all the old, grainy, World War One black and white footage, and recolored it, and it looks gorgeous. Some parts are sad, like you get to uh, you see the red blood, and the gore, and the, oh, it's grim. But the poppies, there's a scene where it's just poppies in the field. And he shows you like how we recolored it from grey to red and green. And it's bloody gorgeous. It's one of the best restorations of old black and white films I think I've ever seen. And it's just a great war story, to be honest. That's, they shall not grow old. If, if you want to pick it up, it's on sale right now. I've been meaning to pick it up since it released. Mm say Christmas last year because it was on the BBC for in November at Armistice Day and then it came out a month later I think 
but it's been there ever since it's about a tenner now it might have even gone down in price i didn't look today but yeah a tenner for a gorgeous world war one documentary by peter jackson what more can you ask for now we'll move on to the next one we've got about five left so this one came out around christmas time when aquaman was in the cinemas and aquaman into the spider verse uh, Mary Poppins, all that type of ones. It came out about then. Oh, and Bumblebee, that was the other one I was trying to think of. I've got that upstairs. It's uh, Mortal Engines, and if you notice, it's not just the normal Mortal Engines Blu ray, it's the 3D. I've got the 3D and the normal Blu ray mixed in for about, I like to say, about a tenner. I can't remember, I've got this a couple of weeks ago now. Yeah, it's about a tenner. Another great movie, produced by uh, Peter Jackson, it's got Robert Sheehan in it, uh, Hugo Weaving in it, Stephen Lang's in it from Avatar, a couple of other similar names that you might know, probably not that many, and Robert Sheehan, it's uh, based on a book by, it's based on a book by Philip Reeve, um, it's the Mortal Engines trilogy I think, yeah the Mortal Engines uh, series of books or novels or whatever you want to call it but yeah uh, i still haven't watched this one there's a lot of movies that i haven't watched that I picked up on blu-ray that i absolutely wanted to watch but i just never got ch got the chance to catch in the cinema but yeah it's um about in in miles in the future when the world's like apocalypsed over um cities and towns and stuff are on wheels and they uh, roam the wasteland of grass and trees and stuff and rocks and every city tries to chase other cities and devour them and in, inside those, those people that are on the smaller cities get to work in there. It's all about London trying to take over her city and the guy that runs London or is a main part of London um, had an association with her when she was a kid. So yeah, another one that I need to watch that I can't really talk much about until I've watched it but yeah, another great movie. I've got this, like I say, for about a 10, I'm sure it was. Anyway, so on to the next one. This is one I can talk about because I absolutely loved this when it came out in the cinema. Just around the same time as Hellboy and Endgame. I think it was a couple of weeks before Endgame. Shazam. It's DC, the DCEU next movie. I don't know if they go tight in with the DCEU or whatever. They keep saying it is DCEU, but... It's the next one after Aquaman, anyway, it's Shazam. Um, I watched Shazam in the Justice League cartoons when I was a kid, so I kind of knew a little bit about him, but I didn't know tons. But he, Zachary Levi, is absolutely brilliant as playing an older Billy Batson. So, uh, Billy Batson is a 14-year-old foster kid, and he keeps moving from foster home to foster home to foster home. And within that, he meets a new foster set of parents and on the train ride home the train starts frosting over and he gets transported to a magical uh, realm I think you fix the word and he meets the wizard also coincidentally called Shazam played by G uh, played by G uh, Jaimon Honsu I think that's how you pronounce his name and uh, he gives Billy the Shazam powers so every time he incites Shazam he becomes an older version of himself with all these special powers like fly, being able to shoot electricity, stuff like that. You can see it in the trailers. But absolutely great movie, loved it. Mark Strong plays a great villain in this. Totally understand where his uh, thingy, his, uh, his reasons for wanting what he wants in the movie that I don't want to spoil. But um, absolutely great. All the kid cast in it are fantastic. Um, just a great overall movie. I can't really say much more, to be totally honest. Just check it out if you haven't. Uh, last thing I want to say is there are some scenes in it that are a bit scary, actually. I, I was a bit like, ain't this, uh, although it's a DC movie, isn't it supposed to be a bit like a childish, friendly movie? And I was just like, Jesus Christ, that's scary. But the guy that directed it, um, he was a horror director. So yeah, David Sandberg. Alright, so he's done a lot of horror movies like Lights Out and stuff like that. And it was his first like proper horror movie. Uh, superhero movie, sorry. 
So yeah, another great movie. Just like if if you got kids there and they get a little bit scared, then understandable. But fantastic anyway. Down to my last three now. This is another one that I got for a tenner out of HMV because they're selling off some of the older AAA titles, if you want to call them that, for cheap. And it's Predator. I love the original Predator. I've seen Predator 2 once or twice and looking forward to this. Still haven't seen this. This is another one I haven't seen. I know it's about a bigger, stronger Predator and that's it. I know this has got a load of bad reviews, but you don't know until you watch it, do you? So, yeah, another one I want to watch. Really great. Really can't, uh, can't wait for it. Can't wait to watch it. It's got um, Keegan Michael Key, um, Jordan Peele's comedic partner, Jordan Peele directed Get Out and Us. It's this is directed by Shane Black, who did Iron Man 3 and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And it's got Sterling K. Brown in it from, he's been in Black Panther and he was in Hotel Artemis, I believe. Trevante Jones and Boyd Holbrook. Boyd, Boyd Holbrook was in Logan. He was the bad guy in Logan that was chasing Logan down. So, yeah, overall, pretty good. Another one that I want to watch that I'm pretty desperate to watch. Uh, last two. Uh, it's just a quick one. I'll pick this up for a 10 out as well from HMV. Stan and Ollie. Uh, what more can you say? It's about uh, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy and how they visited England. It's one of their last trips they did. Uh, it's got John C. Riley as... Oliver Hardy and Steve Coogan as Stan Laurel. So yeah, that's another great one that I'm looking forward to. They just did it. It's about they're they're in the twilight of their career and they're doing a trip around Great Britain and they have a falling out and then they get back together and stuff like that. You've seen it in the trailers. So yeah, that's that. And then last but not least, the final one. Got this for full price, I think. Yeah, fifteen quid. Fighting with my family. Uh, I wanted to see it when it came out. It looks great. It's directed by Stephen Merchant. Yeah, Stephen Merchant. Um, that hangs around with uh, Ricky Gervais. But yeah, it's a movie about Paige and her brother as she um, comes to learn to fight in the WWE. So yeah, it's another one I need to see. So yeah, it's got a really good cast. It's got Florence Pugh, who is in. She was in Midsummer that's just come out in the cinemas and what's the one called on Netflix? Uh, Outlaw King, I think it's called, uh, with Chris Pine as is Robert the Bruce. Then you've got Lena Headey, which we all know as Cersei from Game of Thrones, Nick Frost, uh, Jack Loden, who I think plays her brother, Vince Vaughn, and as you guessed, it's a WWE movie, it's The Rock. So yeah, that's another one that I um, need to get around to watching, but it looks great. That's a British movie. She's British as she, she joins the WWE. Mate of mine, um, Mike, that will hopefully feature on the channel soon, is a big fan of the WWE, uh, the WWE when I can talk properly. He, he kind of um, told me about her ages ago when she first started in the, w uh, in the WWE. So it's nice to be able to go, oh, that's her story. That's who you were talking about. Uh, I think if you bought it in Tesco's or Sainsbury's or one or the other, um, you've got a free page DVD with it so you can see the actual person before you see the movie. So, yeah, absolutely great movie. And that's really the end of all that. These have been sitting on my table for a good week or two while I edit Entertainment Perfection and the other podcast. So I just thought, rather than letting them sit there and go to waste, I'd uh, bang a quick Blu-ray haul together for you guys. Yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. That's everything I want to show you. If uh, I get any more, I'll probably do another one of these. But what I'm going to try and do, and this is a video first for this video. Today, while I got John Wick and got Lord of uh, the Return of the King Extended Edition, I spoke to my local CEX, my local HMV and my local Poundland. Obviously, like most other people that do blu-ray hauls do blu-ray hunts they go around like the shops and stuff i've always liked the idea of doing that but i i wanted to ask first be polite i don't want to just turn up and go hello i'm filming i wanted to go right can i film in your shop would you mind because i don't want to just be able to do it for a blu-ray hunt i want to be able to do skits and stuff for entertainment perfection which you'll realize when it comes out yeah, hopefully, starting Monday, I'll put together a little 10, 20 minute Blu-ray hunt 
of like going around HMV, Poundland and CEX just to see what they've got, what's new, what's coming out and see if they have any deals on or go, uh, so I can inform you guys of like if any deals are coming up and go, oh yeah, maybe see if it's in your HMV or your CEX or vice versa. Yeah, that's really it for this video. That's the one thing I want to talk about is the Blu-ray hunt hopefully starting Monday. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I need to talk to you guys about? Oh yeah, speaking of entertainment perfection, I should have maybe put this at the beginning of the video. Hopefully, cross fingers, either today, tonight, or tomorrow, you will be getting a trailer for entertainment perfection. Just to like go, here's what you can expect when it comes, if you know what I mean, coming soon. Because the first episode is taking, like I say, taking a little bit longer than I was expecting. So, hopefully, bang this together together bang a little trailer together and put the two out at the same time hopefully well put this straight out now and then put the other one out later on yeah that's the plan anyway um i hope you've enjoyed the video if you like my content and like me then don't forget to like subscribe and well, hit the bell to get all the notifications for my channel every time i upload and yeah see you in a bit guys